Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells and slamming shutters. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. A sudden draft, nothing more. <laughs> My word, perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. Why were you hanging around that house? What's it to you? Tell me or I'll drag it out of you. Some sort right, of commotion. Right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. Secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. Lucky for you, I've got it. So this is how it works. How disappointingly dull.
get out of my house! Get clear, Charlie! Oh, I did it in my mind! And I did it over and over again! There was no one whose love for Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. Yeah.